So now let me talk about uh, another important module and in the, another converter which is called a DC to DC converter. Basically it is called as chopper. <clears throat> this module is very important in the examination. Uh, coming to this uh, DC to DC converters, uh, there are uh, different types of DC to DC converters. So one is a buck converter, second one is boost converter, third one is buck boost converter. Right? Now first let me talk about buck converter analysis then go to the rest of the two converters. Here I am giving uh, important formulas uh, which are related to the buck converter analysis. Now coming to the output voltage, what is meant by buck converter? Basically buck converter is called as step down rect uh, chopper. It is called as step down chopper. Step down means output voltage less than the supply voltage, right? So when you come to the uh, buck converter topology, the topology is given like this. So this is the topology. So when switch is on and off, we get the analysis of the circuit. This is the load, V0, load current is I0, inductor current IL, capacitor current IC, capacitor voltage VC. VC is equals to V0 always. This is the source current IS. <coughs> so we need to derive each and every parameter in this circuit. Now what is output voltage V0 by switching on and off this uh, uh, chopper switch V0 is equals to D into Vs. D means what duty cycle it is a ratio of on time to total time. So basically duty cycle varies between 0 and 1. If duty cycle is 0 V0 is equals to Vs uh, 0. If duty cycle is 1 maximum then V0 is Vs. So always output voltage varies between the 0 and Vs not more than Vs right. That is why it is called step down chopper. But converter is nothing but step down chopper. Now, what about the load current I0? I0 is equal to V0 by R if the load is R load or RL load. If the load is RLE, then I0 is V0 minus E by R. This is a common as like in the previous rectifier circuit also. Now, what is the inductor current? IL means not load, sir. IL means what? Inductor current. What I have mentioned here, this is the inductor current IL. Then how do you get average inductor current is nothing but in buck converter inductor average current is same as the load average that is equals to V0 by R. Now what is the source average current? Source average current means supply current. So IS is equals to D times the average current, load average current, right? So IS is equals to D into I0. Then what is the ripple in the inductor current? Why we need to calculate ripple in the inductor current? We know that inductor current variation is not straight. It is like in inductor charging, discharging, charging, discharging, charging, discharging. And this is the IL average when you come to the inductor variation. So charging as well as discharging, right? So you need to calculate what is the ripple in the inductor current. Ripple in the inductor current is what? Delta IL. So delta IL is equals to Vs into 1 minus D into DT by L. Vs is the supply voltage, D is the duty cycle, T is the switching time period, L is the inductance of this filter circuit, buck converter filter circuit. Now, so this IL is maximum when duty cycle varies, IL also varies. So when you come to the variation of IL, delta IL, this is a very important in the examination. When duty cycle varies, I delta IL also increases. If D increases, delta IL also increases. It reaches to maximum when duty cycle is 0.5 and further increment of duty cycle, delta IL decreases. 
So delta IL would be maximum at D is equals to 0.5 or 50%, duty cycle is 50%. And delta IL maximum is substitute D is equal to 0.5. In this case, we get delta IL maximum is 4, uh, Vs into T by 4 into L. This is the maximum peak to peak ripple current. So now coming to the, what is the capacitor peak to peak, uh, capacitor ripple voltage? Right? As I mentioned in the circuit, this is a VC capacitor voltage, nothing but load voltage, right? So, as like inductor current, capacitor voltage also varies like this. So, this is a VC average, nothing but V0. So, capacitor also voltage also decreasing, increasing, decreasing, increasing, right? Now, find what is the delta VC, ripple in capacitor voltage. That is nothing but ripple in output voltage. So, delta Vc is equals to Vs into 1 minus D into dt square by 8 Lc. With this formula, we can calculate the ripple in capacitor voltage. Now, coming to this, critical values of these three, very important. At what value of R, the circuit here, this analysis, what we did, uh, done the analysis for the buck converter for continuous conduction mode. Continuous conduction mode means load current continuous and constant with I0. This is only the assumption, right? So for continuous conduction, this is the analysis, fine. In order to get continuous conduction, what are the critical values of inductor, capacitor and resistor? Right? Now, coming to the critical value of resistance to get the continuous conduction, means these are, this gives a boundary for continuous conduction, right? So, critical value of resistance to get the exact continuous conduction is 2L by 1 minus D into T. So, critical value of inductance LCR is 1 minus D into T into R by 2. Critical value of capacitance is 1 minus D into T square by 16 L. These are very important. When you come to these two, these two are very important because you are designing the inductor, uh, filter inductor and filter capacitor, right? Basically, this is a buck converter. This is nothing but the filter circuit. We need to design the filter components. So, in order to get continuous conduction mode, you should uh, design the inductor values minimum these two. Right below these values, what would happen? We get the discontinuous mode of operation, right? Fine. So when you come to the discontinuous mode of operation, what is the output voltage? V0 is equals to Vs into D by beta. What is a beta? Beta is less than 1 always. Means current reaches to 0 before the desired instant, right? So that is why we get this expression. So when you substitute beta less than 1, uh, V0, average output voltage in discontinuous conduction mode is always greater than continuous conduction mode. This is another important thing in the examination, right? So this is a complete uh, buck converter analysis under continuous conduction as well as discontinuous conduction mode. So now let me see another uh, DC to DC converter, a chopper converter called a boost converter. What is meant by boost? Boost means step up. Boost converter is called as step up chopper or step up converter. So what does it mean? Step up means output voltage always greater than supply voltage. So how we get? So this is a circuit topology of the boost converter. Inductor, switch, diode, capacitor and load. By switching on and off this chopper switch, we get the output voltage V0 is equals to Vs by 1 minus D. We know that what is the D? It's a duty cycle ratio of one time to total time. It would be varies between 0 and 1 always. So now for 0, 0 to 1, output voltage varies between Vs to infinite. So always output voltage is greater than supply voltage. So V0 varies between supply voltage Vs and infinite. Always it gives a more than supply voltage so that it is called as step up chopper or boost converter. Now coming to the load current, average load current. This is I0 by uh, V0 by R for R and RL load. V0 minus E by R for RLE load. So here in this analysis again we are assuming continuous conduction mode. Now what is the inductor average current? In previous case in buck, buck converter, inductor average current is same as the load average current. But here in boost converter, inductor average current is not same as the load average. That is I0 by 1 minus D. 
Now substitute I naught is V naught by R here we get V S by R into 1 minus D whole square. Fine. What is the source average current? Source average current is in this connection source is always connected to inductor circuit. So inductor current same as the source current. So inductor average current is same as the source average current that is I naught by 1 minus D. So I naught would be calculated using this expression. Fine. So what is the ripple in the inductor current? As we may discussed in the previous buck converter, inductor always current, inductor current always varies what? Increases, decreases, increases, decreases. So find what is the ripple between a ripple means delta IL, ripple in inductor current. The ripple in inductor current basically is nothing but what IL maximum minus IL minimum. So maximum means peak value, minimum value. Difference between the two is what? Delta I L. That is equals to Vs into dt by L. Fine. Now coming to the what is the ripple in capacitor voltage? A ripple in capacitor voltage means as I said already capacitor voltage also varies. It has a peak value, maximum value and minimum value. So delta Vs is nothing but again Vc maximum minus Vc minimum. So what is the delta Vc? I naught into dt by C. C is the capacitor value. Now what are the critical values of inductor and capacitor as like previous? These two are very important. Uh, means these two gives the exact continuous conduction. So minimum value of inductance, minimum value of capacitance to get the exact continuous conduction mode, right? So LCR is 1 minus D whole square into DRT by 2. Critical value of capacitance is I naught into D into 1 minus DT by 2 Vs. So these two are very important again to, according uh, for the examination point of view. Now coming to the discontinuous mode of power, if you maintain the LCR and CCR uh, small values, then we get a discontinuous mode of operation, right? Now when you come to the discontinuous mode of operation, what is output voltage? Vs into D by beta minus D. As we discussed already, beta is always uh, less than 1. So substitute it, we get V0 in discontinuous conduction mode is greater than continuous conduction mode, right? This is the analysis of boost converter, that is step up chopper. Now when you come to this, uh, output voltage V0 is greater than Vs and a load current I0 always less than supply current, right? So that is why boost converter operation is similar to DC equivalent of step up transformer, right? So this is the complete analysis of boost converter. So now let me talk about another DC to DC converter called bug boost converter. So basically it is nothing but it gives both the operation, buck operation as well as boost operation by varying the duty cycle. So let me see. So this is the buck, convert, buck boost converter topology. In this inductor is connected to the ground. Since buck converter inductor is connected to the load side, boost converter inductor is connected to the source side, buck boost converter inductor is connected to the ground. Now by switching on and off this chopper switch we get the output voltage expression, output current expression and so on. So what is output voltage V0 is equals to by deriving the relations we get V0 is equals to Vs into D by 1 minus D. We know that what is a D? D is a duty cycle. <clears throat> so if D varies between 0 to 0 0.5, output voltage varies between 0 to Vs. This is nothing but buck operation. If duty cycle varies between 0 0.5 to 1, output voltage varies between Vs to infinite. Substitute here it is Vs to infinite. This is called boost converter operation. So this converter gives both operations, buck operation as well as boost operation by varying the duty cycle or control parameter. <coughs> so what is the load current as usual is a V0 by R for R load and RL load V0 minus E by R for RLE load. Now what is the inductor average current? When you come to the inductor, inductor current varies, we know that gradually it increases, decreases, increases, decreases. When you find the average of this inductor current, IL average is I0 by 1 minus D, Vs into D by R into 1 minus D whole square, just substitute I0 value this. 
So what is the source average current? Source average current is equals to I naught into D by 1 minus D. We know that in buck converter IL average is equal to I naught load average current. In boost converter IL average is same as the source average. In buck boost converter 3 are different. So IS average is I naught into D by 1 minus D. So here uh, <coughs> Output voltage, output current, inductor current and a source current. These are the parameters. Now coming to the ripple in inductor current, ripple in capacitor voltage. So ripple in inductor current is delta L is equals to Vs into dt by L. Delta Vc is equals to I naught into dt by L. This is a ripple in capacitor voltage. Now what are the critical values of resistor, inductor and capacitor? These two gives the exact con continuous conduction or boundary conditions for continuous conduction. So LCR is 1 minus D square into RT by 2. Critical value of capacitance is I naught into 1 minus D into T by 2 into Vs. So these two are very important. If you, you have to maintain inductor value and capacitor value of this bug boost converter above these two. Otherwise we get discontinuous mode of operation that is when circuit operates in discontinuous conduction mode V naught discontinuous conduction mode is Vs into D by beta minus D. Whereas in buck boost converter, in buck converter what is the v, v, v naught DCM? Discontinuous conduction mode is Vs into D by beta. Whereas in boost converter Vs into beta by beta minus D. Whereas in bug boost converter, Vs into D by beta minus D, where beta less than 1, by substituting beta less than 1, always we get discontinuous conduction mode of voltage or greater than continuous conduction mode of voltage. So this is the analysis of the bug boost converter. And when you come to the converter analysis, like bug converter, boost converter, bug boost converter, apart from these uh, formulas, these are enough for the examination, right? But apart from these uh, uh, expressions, uh, formulas, you have to remember the waveforms also. Sometimes they may give an examination, voltage across the inductor or uh, current through the inductor based on that we need to get the re response of the circuit right that is why along with these formulas you must remember you must practice uh, waveforms of the particular converter circuit